morning. It is Sunday, best day of the week. Phoebe and I are about to trudge out into the fog. It's a very foggy morning to go secret Santa shopping. So I'm going to help. We do a secret Santa as a family every year. It's a five pound limit. It's got to be something a bit silly. We all get, um, we do it by our elf stuff and we exchange it at Christmas lunch. So it's just me and the girls and Dan, my mum and my sister, if she's here, which she is this year. Um, she wasn't able to come down last year for the reasons we all know about. And Dan is here and he's going food shopping. Because uh, we've just done a load of meal planning for the week. So Naya is here, but she's in bed. I'm going to help uh, Phoebe go and get her secret Santa, but we, we cannot reveal who she's got, I'm afraid. It is... It is... It is... A member of the family. <laughs> We're just back from the shops. Oh, you see me jump then? I didn't realise that next door's cat was here. This is a bit wonky. Um, and she just caught me out the corner of my eye and didn't know it was, oh, sorry. I'm putting my socks on. It's Sunday, so Sunday's our chicken cleaning out day. So we're gonna go and give their coop a good wipe over and clean all their feeders through the dishwasher, um, rake over the run. They're just on mud at the moment um, and they don't wanna be. Um, we're gonna, put a tire in there today. They do have the perches. I'm going to put a tire in there and they do have a concrete bit under their coop as well. But ultimately they're going to be, we're going to replenish the wood chip that we did have in there. And we're going to put some sort of um, rubber, ooh, rubber matting that's full of holes underneath. So they can't dig through it and mix it in with the mud. And we're going to, we're hoping that that might um, help. This is the cat that just made me jump. Oh, she's really purring really loudly. Oh. Yeah, we could get the rubber matting down today. Not without the wood chip, because they weren't like walking about on that. Oh. So um, I've got to order the wood chip. Anyway, we're about to go out and do all that and take them some seed some as well. You want to come and help? help everyone. You want to come and help? She's like, no way. Don't like those chickens. Got my hand knit socks on. Tunisian crochet cow and my cable knit headband. I'm like a knitwear superhero. Captain Crochet. Captain Crochet. Cap Captain Crochet to the rescue. I'm gonna hook you up. <laughs> Biosecurity. <laughs> Clever girls. Come on, Peggs. Can you go on? You want? Yeah. <laughs> there you go. cleaned out and we can just shut them all in. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you do understand that I can unlock it from the inside. Yeah, help yourself to the vegetables. Happy chickens. We've got clean feeders, a bit of 
apple cider vinegar in their water to help the natural dewormer and helps with their immunity. They've got a bit of fresh garlic sprinkled on top of their food. They've got some cauliflower, courgette, cucumber and sweet corn today. And this is not only quite a healthy treat, but as it's winter and they're locked down inside, it's entertainment as well. It's entertainment. <laughs> and the tyre is because we were watching Jimmy and Flavia, Our Life at the Barn, and they were putting tyres in their coop to give the chickens somewhere to go and stand that isn't muddy. They do seem to be spending more time inside the tyre at the minute rather than on it. Yes. But you know, that's chickens for you. I, I feel like we've earned some lunch. Yes. Let's show you the nice clean coop. So here's the nice clean coop. They've got this, this is the bit underneath the coop where they've got a nice bit of concrete to go and stand on and scratch about. And then inside here they've got clean hay, clean bedding, it's all fresh, ready for the night time. Lovely. Well, someone asked about vents as well. The vents are just here and here and there. And also when you fit the door it's vented at the sides. We've got plenty of uh, ventilation and in the door as well. Look at that. Something's coming up. And here. Oh, look at that. Excuse the sound of the dishwasher in the background. Uh, I had to go and pick up a parcel from the sorting office because the postman came when we were out. A beautiful card that was in it. Isn't that lovely. It's a picture by Margaret MacDonald Macintosh. A little section from it. I really love that. And it's all from my friend Ali. Ali lives in Scotland. I had the great pleasure of meeting her when we were up there in the summer and she sent some absolutely gorgeous treats uh, from a bakery up there. She sent some J McDonald mince meat pies made with puff pastry and the great thing about these is they've got a really long expiry date so we can actually have these on Christmas day when my mum and sister are here. That's gonna be amazing. And not only that, but she's put in two packets. Oh no, well they're little packets, four packets of Perkins. Now Perkins was something my dad absolutely loved. And whenever we went to Scotland, he always bought these back and he always ate them with butter on. So when I have a Perkin, in the next couple of days, I will definitely be having it with butter on, just like my dad liked it. These will always remind me of my lovely dad. Thank you so much, Ali. That was completely worth going to the sorting office for. We are very pleased. The girls were delighted to see all of those. Oh, sorry, wobbling the camera. Actually, let's move the camera and have a chat. Let's move away from the, uh, the dishwasher, shall we? and sit in front of the tree there we go so you can probably still hear the dishwasher gurgling in the background um i just realized as well when i went to move the camera i had mud on my hand here because i had just been moving all the boots by the back door to hoover so i don't know if that showed up in the last bit of filming when i was showing you the stuff from scotland but that's what it was if you were wondering i am on my own in the house on a Sunday afternoon. We've cleaned out the chickens, they're all nice and happy. And Dan has taken the girls to watch the new Spider-Man film. And it's not something I wanted to see at all. It's a 12A, so Phoebe feels like all her Christmases have come at once. It basically means you can take a child under the age of 12 if um, I think it's if the parent feels that it was suitable, which it certainly is for Phoebe. She She's definitely uh, someone who's uh, 
doesn't get nervous and her imagination doesn't run away with her in a way that scares her or anything so she is absolutely thrilled to bits to be going to a, a 12a film she's feeling very grown up and I'm thrilled to bits because I'm at home on my own on a Sunday afternoon and there are a million things I could be doing there is a big pile of ironing here which I probably will do a bit later but I'm actually going to sit down I'm going to put some work in on my advent blanket because that has uh, fallen by the wayside because I've been knitting socks and I just haven't had time so I'm going to get some of my advent yarns and work on my blanket and I'm going to watch a terrible Christmas film or a good one. I haven't decided what I'm going to watch. I was thinking I might watch the shop around the corner but that involves going to get the DVD out <laughs> so I might see what's on Netflix and I'm going to light the fire and just enjoy a bit of downtime. <laughs> I've been having a marvellous afternoon. I watched the, a night, a Christmas night, and it definitely looks like there's going to be a Christmas night too, the way it ended. And it was brilliantly awful, and I loved it. And right at the end, there was a song that they played as the credits started. And I thought, it'd be a, I recognised the voices singing, so I thought, that sounds like the Bare Naked Ladies. So I looked it up and it was the Bare Naked Lady. So that's going to be the song of the day because this is a new one. I've never heard it. Well, it's not a new song at all. It's a Christmas Carol. It is God Rest You Merry Gentlemen. And it is by the Bare Naked Ladies featuring Sarah McLaughlin. It's on the, the album A Winter's Night. This is how it looks on iTunes. And that is going to be the song of the day. It's a really, really nice version of it. I really enjoyed it. So, And they, it looks like that whole album is pretty good. But not only that, the Bare Naked Ladies have an album called Bare Naked for the Holidays. And it is the Bare Naked Ladies singing all kinds of Christmas songs. So I'm going to listen to that whilst I'm cooking our vegetable paella later when everyone's home. Although, quite frankly, I don't want anyone to come home yet. I want time to watch a whole other film. By myself oh looking very orange in this light i'm just having speaking of orange i'm having a, a pint of orange squash and i mentioned it a few times like oh i'm having a pint of squash and i had a couple of questions about what it is so it's i guess it's like a, a cordial i think that's what you'd call it and my favorite one is the orange lemon and pineapple one from sainsbury's can't believe i'm showing you squash whatever next there we go and it's basically there's no sugar it's sugar free but it's not sweetener free so it's a bit like you know if you have a diet coke there's no caffeine in this but you have a diet coke and you know that it's sugar free but it's not exactly healthy uh, but it makes water a little bit more interesting i drink a lot of water throughout the day and just sometimes it's nice to have a bit of something in it to flavor it so that's what i tend to go for and I'm going to have a pint of that now and see what other film I can watch or part of a film before the fam come home. And then I'm going to start cooking and listening to the Bare Naked Ladies. So I shall say goodnight and I shall see you tomorrow. We are less than a week until Christmas now. So tomorrow will be Christmas Eve, 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 Eve. 